Hello everyone, this is Christoph here from Intech Studio and it's time for a tutorial video where I will show you how to assign to each of these button presses the four page changes. This technique could be applied to any button events, so you could uh, follow this to assign page changes on your encoders as well. What happens when you change a page? So grid has basically two memories, one fast and one slow. The slow memory holds the full configuration, the full uh, uh, four pages and uh, everything uh, to make sure the module does what it's meant to do. And when you are changing a page, whether it's with the small button on the side of the module or within the grid editor software, from the slow memory, the uh, the selected page will be loaded into the fast memory. Between pages you can't bring over variables, you can't uh, uh, save a state, so when a new page is loaded it will be like a new uh, resetted state of the module. So pages are global as things are, so this is now currently in page uh, 1 in this uh, orange reddish color and if I interconnect this module they are communicating with each other and this module will also have the page oranges uh, red color the page 1 loaded. So that's about pages in general, it's a global config and page changes will uh, be like a, 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 a will reset the previous configs and uh, start from the new page configs what you set up in the editor. So first this is like a cleared module but I'm just going to clear it uh, to make everything is going to work as expected. So let's go to the first button and have this um, code block here and uh, have the code page load parentheses and zero. Page load zero will actually uh, reload page zero even if we are currently on page zero. So it will be like a reset this page command. We can leave it out if we want, but for this uh, demonstration, let's uh, use it anyways. So page load zero. Now we have a debug message down here, page change is disabled. So whenever you are making a page change related uh, command with the buttons or any of the control elements, your configuration has to be stored or discarded because otherwise uh, this safeguard won't let you change the actual page because on page changes previous configurations are rendered out, put into the garbage and you can't uh, reuse it. So before using and trying out these page changes you have to store them. But now let's continue the configurations on the, on the zero page to have ELO each of the buttons uh, the setup to actually go to a different page. Now let's have press release, put it here and because we don't want to run it twice because it's it, this seems more optimal and copy and now remove this. I'm also removing the MIDI block from the previous one. Okay and let's put it here and code block via load page one and code block via load page two and code block remove paste page three Again, now I'm trying to test it, go to like page two, but it did not work because our page changes are disabled. I have to store it, store complete. And now I am on page two and I'm interacting with the buttons, but it doesn't go back because on this page, these things aren't configured as uh, mentioned before each page has its unique uh, configuration scope. So let's, uh, we can choose whether we are going to like uh, paste in again each of the 
uh, configurations to all of the control elements but that would be tedious so go to the uh, page 0 where we have this configuration for all of our buttons and make a simple profile from it this is now the element preset folder but we want this to be a profile a profile is saving an active page a single active page on a selected module so one module one page bbf 4 page changes and this will be my profile okay and I'm going now to the second page and uh, make sure that you are not uh, clicking on this save don't click on this because that would uh, overwrite this profile just to be safe I'm removing uh, this part from here and let's find our PB pbf for page change okay load this to the module and here we have it okay store it and go to the next page select this load it load complete store it go to the last page load profile to module store and now when I'm clicking it should work as expected. This is one way to assign page changes due to the button event.